Um, my name is Kelly. I'm a developer at Automatic, uh, and specifically I work on WooCommerce. Uh, so WooCommerce lets you sell things through your WordPress site. How many people have heard of WooCommerce? Oh, that's like all of you. Awesome. Um, <laughs> okay, so who in here like, owns or manages a store? Cool. Um, how about store builders for other people? Uh, okay, well, so last month uh, there was an online conference called WooSesh, which was uh, all about WooCommerce, uh, and some of my coworkers gave a keynote there, and they basically went over the state of WooCommerce. Um, so that was called the past, present, and future of WooCommerce. It was also two hours long, so I'm not going to cover all of that. Um, but the whole talk is worth a watch. Uh, they went over details about um, what we're doing in WooCommerce land, uh, how we plan on evolving the product, uh, what the things that, how they've done user research, how we've um, managed the design process, um, talked about some user feedback sessions we've done, uh, because really we've tried to lay a very strong groundwork to make sure that WooCommerce is the best platform for you to sell your things because we want to make sure that if you're making your livelihood with our product that it's good. So um, sort of this talk is kind of going to be about the future of WooCommerce but really I'm going to be talking about things that are already publicly available. Um, so tonight I'll be talking about two of our proje projects. They're um, both currently being worked on. Um, but because we want feedback early and often, you can actually download and try them now. Um, so for the last year, uh, we've been trying a feature plugin approach in WooCommerce. To keep your stores stable, we can iterate faster in separate plugins um, and get feedback from people who opted in to try new things. So test in different scenarios, um, and then once we're confident, the successful projects can get merged back into WooCommerce itself. So uh, you can take a look at what I'll show you tonight. You can then try it out yourself if you'd like to. Uh, and I'd love to hear any feedback or questions. Uh, there should be a little time after, I think, for, for some questions. Uh, so before we get too far, I did want to mention that if you do upgrade to WordPress 5.0 when it's released, please make sure you're running WooCommerce 3.5.1 or higher. Uh, we discovered a conflict in the beta um, in the 5.0 beta. So if you're not on 3.5.1 or higher, your product editing screen will be broken. Obviously that's not ideal, so make sure you're up to date. You might also want to check for other conflicts um, with all your plugins and themes, maybe on a staging site, uh, with a copy of your live site, before jumping to update your actual site. Also make sure to keep backups of all your content so that you can roll back to a previous version if needed. Most web hosts can help you with this. So all that's to say is because um, there's going to be a big upgrade coming out soon. WordPress 5.0 is scheduled to come out soon, uh, and you can download a beta preview of it now if you want to. So this version of WordPress will include a big change in how you create posts and pages. You might have seen this already, called Gutenberg. It's a block-based editor, which basically means that all your content is blocks. In this example, uh, the gallery is a block, uh, as is the text above it. So it changes how you write content. Uh, it's a totally new space for developers as well. Where we used to rely on content creators knowing short codes uh, or themes creating sidebars for widgets, now developers can create these interactive blocks and they can be dropped into any post or page. So the first project I'll mention is our work to update the product's short code to a set of WYSIWYG blocks. Uh, we already have a plugin on WordPress.org with a sort of parent block. It was created about six months ago as an experiment to see how we can work with Gutenberg. Uh, as it turns out, one block for everything you can do in one shortcode uh, was a very complicated block. So we're actually tweaking that now, um, and we'll be releasing a set of simpler use case driven blocks. Our focus with these is to help store owners set up really attractive homepages. 
So we'll have a call to action block where you can, which you can use to drive sales to one specific product, or a block to list all your on-sale products, or a block to list all products in a given category. This screenshot is um, the products category block as it exists right now, which is definitely easier to use than a short code. Um, for any developers wondering though, we're still using the short code in the post content. Gutenberg just gives us a really great way to show a live preview. So this is currently in development. Um, it's technically working, but we're really going to polish it up more before releasing it. So let's see if I can backwards walk you through how this works. This is very small. There we go. Okay, so right now I have uh, just a regular add, add a new post screen in WordPress 5.0 and in the beta. So this is the new Gutenberg editor. Um, we can add a title. And then, uh, now it's very it's straightforward to just add a new block with this. We can add, um, you know, like gallery or any, like, any item of content. So our products by category is our new, um, this is the first Gutenberg block that we're working with. Uh, and you can see that if you add the block, first of all, it doesn't have a category selected. I'm telling you that this is in development. So you're getting like a sneak preview tonight. Uh, but if you add a category, now you can see that you have uh, some products that are in that category. And you can have more options to display, like change your display layout. So right now this is a three columns, four, four columns, three rows, but it looks pretty cramped here. Maybe we don't want three columns, we can change it to two, and now it's two columns. Maybe we don't want four, three is still pretty cramped, why don't we do two and two? And now if we publish this, we can preview it, or view it, and we see that it is pretty much how it looked on the edit screen. Uh, the theme styles are a little different. Uh, this is also 2019, so this is another preview of things that are coming out soon. Uh, but it's so much more of a live preview than that short code. So we're really trying to make, uh, make Gutenberg work with WooCommerce in a really uh, useful way. So we'll have other blocks for um, we'll have other blocks for uh, featured products, products that are on sale, um, best-selling products. You can order and sort by price by things that are on sale. So all of that is currently um, in the works. The, um, there is a plugin that exists on WordPress.org that you can download. It is called Woo uh, Gutenberg Products Block. You can also get it from GitHub and that will give you the like, most up-to-date version. Uh, but you need to be comfortable with running npm install to build it. Um, otherwise, we should have an updated version with this category block uh, next week. That is, yeah, November 28th. So, um, yeah, that's what I spent all day working on. <laughs> okay. So, that was Gutenberg. Um, kind of like an expected update. 
you know, we need to make sure that our product works with Gutenberg, works with this new editor. Um, but our other big project is a much more, much more grand scale project. So we are uh, working on making, uh, making a new interface for WooCommerce admins. We're starting with a revamp of the analytics uh, and reporting screens. So what that means for right now is that we have a brand new dashboard, uh, which is going to, we haven't really been focusing on this yet, so it's not super useful at the moment, uh, but the, the idea of it is that it will be one place where you can go and see like a health report of your store. So you can see that you have two new customers, but last week you had three, so maybe you need to figure out why you aren't getting as many customers as last week. Um, and so this is just a like really hopefully straightforward, easy to use dashboard to um, manage your store. Uh, it'll also be very customizable. You can add new stats, remove stats. We'll have more tables and charts here. So that's the dashboard. And then we'll also have um, a new analytics uh, section. This is being entirely new. Um, there has been a lot of work on the infrastructure behind these reports. So uh, we want to make sure that the reports are performant and showing you useful data. Uh, and this is what I was talking about. My team has done a lot of uh, user testing and feedback and surveys and a lot of research to figure out what are these useful um, metrics that people want to see. So in this case, we have another set of these like health numbers, uh, performance indicators, uh, and then under it uh, is this is it a chart so you can see how your store is doing over time. And then below that is just a raw table of your data. Um, and then you can download that and maybe import it into any sort of tracking software that you use externally. Now, will this be an extension or is this part of the main core product? That's a good question. Right now, it's, um, it's, a, it's an extra plugin, so it's an extension, but it is being developed with the assumption that it will be merged into WooCommerce Core in the future. So it will become part of the product. Can you click on that analytics icon on the right? What do you want? That squiggly line. You want? Yeah. Yeah, so that's just to okay. toggle between bar or line chart. Uh, you can also sort see by, well, by day here, I guess. So we also have a bunch of different uh, date ranges you can choose from or create a custom date range if you know you always have a sale over a certain weekend, maybe you want to get analytics just for that weekend. So, what else? Um, we also have the this new um, activity panel, and so this is another um, way to have your store always always around as you're going through any WooCommerce page, this top header will always be on um, and available. So you'll have an inbox that might tell you things like your subscription to a paid extension is expiring soon and you need to renew it. Uh, it also might tell you that your sales have been down in the last week, so here's a tip on how you can improve that. Uh, there's also like orders, which will let you quickly manage your orders if you need to submit um, mark as complete or you've shipped out orders. Um, yeah, so that is meant to be like a, a very top of mind place for you to go and see your um, your stores, what tasks you need to do next.
So kind of along the lines, like we're really building this to be a very good analytics platform first. There'll also be uh, advanced filtering uh, for you to check out which orders, how would certain orders perform. How, yeah. How, yeah, how certain products perform. Um, anyway, um, so that's sort of the user side of things. Uh, we'll also... Oh. So this is currently kind of alpha testing. We're not really doing full releases yet. Like you might have noticed, I kind of clicked around and talked about how certain things aren't really working yet. This is still very um, early in development. Uh, but it's the revenue report that I showed you is a functional report, so if you wanted to download it and try it on your own data, you can see how that works and looks. Uh, and then you could also give us feedback about what you think is useful or not. So this is another one where you can download it from uh, GitHub. Uh, there is a compiled release under the releases tab on GitHub, but it is not on WordPress.org yet. I'm not sure if we will be putting it on WordPress.org or if this is going to stay kind of a, a developer uh, preview. There is going to be a post on the WooCommerce blog about this project soon, if there hasn't been already, uh, which will have a link to a, a plugin that you can download and install. So one more thing I wanted to talk about is that uh, we do, obviously the WooCommerce ecosystem relies heavily on extensions. Uh, we have a lot of extension developers um, and uh, a lot of people who like WooCommerce because it's so extendable. So in making this new interface, we still want to make sure that third party developers can still integrate with it. Um, so the interface I showed you is all uh, React JavaScript based. Uh, interface. We know that React is unfamiliar to a lot of WordPress developers, so we're trying to keep that in mind with how we build uh, how we build this interface. We're going to make use of uh, the JavaScript hook system that they've introduced. We have a lot of API interfaces where you can extend uh, those numbers along the top can be extended just through an API. Uh, we also have this component library that we've built up that you can use in your extensions. If you hook into, you can create a new report in just uh, a few lines of code and use our summary numbers or anything else that you need to. Uh, so this is a small section of some of our components. So um, if you want to see the future, these are those links again. Uh, you can also sign up for the design feedback group on WooCommerce.com, and so this is um, uh, you would you would opt into maybe taking uh, taking part in our research surveys uh, there, and you might see more sneak previews. We might uh, ask for feedback on more things like this. So uh, that's really all I had. It was kind of just a walkthrough of these two projects. Uh, does anyone have any other questions? Can you import old commerce data into WooCommerce to start filling up those analytics if you've just started with WooCommerce? So if you're new to WooCommerce, can you import from another system into WooCommerce? Your, your, your old sales data. Yeah. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know about importing. Uh, sorry. Any other questions?
you want to see the 